guys, it's your girl T. And earlier this week, our favorite love and hip hop cast member, and yes, I'm being facetious for all y'all who don't know, our favorite love and hip hop cast member, Young Bird, was arrested. Supposedly, what happened is that during the love and hip hop reunion party, Young Bird was trying to be a stunner and he was buying drinks and everything was on him. He went to go pay with his credit card, and his credit card was declined. And so he had no other ways of paying for the tab. So Masika, his new girlfriend, decided to step up and pay for the tab. Well, Young Bird was so upset and embarrassed that he stormed out the room and he went back to the hotel room. So Masika, of course, follows her boyfriend up there. He proceeds to beat her. He grabs her by the hair, pins her against the wall, starts punching her, choking her. It got so bad that she had all types of bruises and lacerations all up and down her arm, on her neck. So Young Bird was arrested and charged with domestic violence and domestic battery. So this whole situation was a mess. A lot of folks had a lot of things to say. Miss Nikki Baby and um, Hazel E were basically saying that it's karma for how Masika treated them and you know, oh well, they don't care, that's what she gets. You know, and a lot of folks were saying that, you know, regardless of how you feel about Masika, the whole situation is not right and a lot of people are trying to figure out what's going to happen to Youngberg now. As we know, ever since he got on this show, it's been nothing but chaos concerning Youngberg. He's had not one, but two of his baby's mothers now come out and say that he's a deadbeat father. If you guys remember back in 2009, one of his baby's mothers in Chicago, she came out saying that he refused to acknowledge his son. Um, his son has autism. Till this day, he has still not seen his son who is now 10 years old. Here's a picture of the little boy. So the whole situation is a mess. Now another girl has come out saying that he's the father of her child. So Youngberg is not only a deadbeat father, he's also an abuser. He likes to beat on women. And I'm not shocked. This is a person who has mommy issues and who has female issues. And he thinks by, you know, having a bunch of sex and sleeping with just multiple women, Women. He thinks that somehow this makes him a man, but he's finding out that that doesn't make you a man whatsoever. So now after all the controversy about him being arrested and him being charged, so contrary to popular belief, Mona Scott and the producers of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood are stepping up to the plate. They are trying to handle this in a professional manner, and they have decided to drop Young Bird from the show. This is the statement that VH1 released last night. Go ahead and check out this statement. I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Alright, so you guys just read the statement. So Youngberg is now officially out of a job. Youngberg is a loser. I've called him out on his bullshit several times. I've never been a fan of this dude if you watch my recaps. I've always said that Youngberg has taught issues. First of all, the man looks no older than 15. He sounds like he's still going through puberty. And anybody that obsessed with dicking down multiple women Monday through Sunday has serious insecurity and mommy and female issues. You know, I find it funny that this fool can sit here and take out his frustration and his anger out on Masika Tucker and beat her ass the way he did. Yet and still, this punk ass dude done got his ass slapped by Mano, done got his ass whooped all up and down the industry. And let's not forget his transformer chain done made several trips around the country. I have yet to see Young Berg address any of those dudes who jacked him for his chain. I've never seen Young Berg address Mano. I've never seen Young Berg talk about any of these guys who have went in on him, who have punked him. It's funny he can take out all his anger and frustration out on Masika and beat her ass. You know, this dude is a straight up loser. What these women see in him, I don't understand whatsoever. I don't understand what the hell is the hype about this dude. His music is mediocre at best. He tries to claim all these celebrities that he's worked on their projects. The last one of these celebrities have called him out and stated that he's not worked on their project. I just think that Youngberg has a lot of tall issues and people need to stop gassing his head up. You know, Hazel E is laughing and thinking that the whole situation is funny, but you're the same chick that was running after him. You're the same chick who allowed him to disrespect you, go in on you. You're writing songs about him. So don't laugh at Masika's unfortunate situation because that very well could have been you as well, Hazel E, as much as you was infatuated with Young Bird. You know, I just don't understand the whole situation. This dude is a straight up loser. And I, for one, am grateful that Mona Scott stepped up and fired his ass from the show. Not only is this man a deadbeat loser who refuses to take care of either one of his children, but he's also out here beating up on females. I mean, the whole situation is just a mess. And if Masika ends up going back to him, then that's on her. I can't feel bad for her. But I hope she learns from this and she ends up walking away from Youngberg and leaving him and moving on with her life because he's not worth it. He's not a good person. Just from the way he talks to women, the way he talks about not only dark skinned women, but the way that he treats women in general. I don't give a damn how much he's worth, how much money he supposedly has. Obviously, he's not worth too much if he can't even pay his credit card bill. But like I said, I just have no respect for this dude and I'm glad that for once Mona stepped up and fired his ass. Now, I do got to give her the side eye because she still ain't fired Jocelyn Hernandez. 
but she's showing up fire Benzino, Althea, and that young bird. So a lot of folks are saying, you know what, Mona? I think you need to fire Jocelyn as well because she's just as violent. But again, Jocelyn is the star of Love & Hip Hop ATL, and I don't see her getting fired at all. But I'm glad to know that Young Bird's ass is off of the show. He did not make the show interesting whatsoever. I'm glad they got rid of him altogether. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's once again concerning our favorite members of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, aka The Bold and the Ratchet. How do you feel about Young Bird beating the hell out of Masika over a damn credit card bill? And then how do you feel about Mona Scott finally firing this guy and getting him off the show completely? Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Alright. Deuce.